Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Yeah, it's early in the morning. It's 20 minutes past 7. I have an early meeting. <laughs> Two words that as I get older, I realize I have grown to dislike. The first is meeting and by far the other one is early. <laughs> so I'm going to rush out, not late. I have a meeting at 8.30, so this is up there real soon. But man, what a special carry, what a special carry. I couldn't sleep that much anyway because I was playing with my two new knives. I have another one coming uh, tomorrow from a good friend of mine from Instagram. And of course, I gave him, paid with it with PayPal, but I he asked for my address. I gave it to him, but not the apartment number. So I have to deal with the mail room and and everything with that so hopefully that doesn't get screwed up because he wrapped it took pictures of it, he was great with it so that's a older spydaco that i've been searching for so we'll have a video on that as well hey you guys uh probably tomorrow um and on these two new knives one knife i've already posted a video the other one i will later on uh, so let's talk about this carry. I'm so happy about this carry. I, you know, I, I, I gush like a schoolboy. I'm sorry. And you guys are knife nuts. If you are a collector of anything, if it's baseball cards, if it's anything, once you get, once you order something, first you find it and you get excited. I do it with my coins. I do it with books. I, I do it with movies. I do it with everything that I collect. You get excited, and then you purchase it, and then it's the worst time ever waiting to get it. <laughs> That's why you don't see a lot of customs uh, from me, uh, because I can't wait six months. I can't. I hate that I don't know when the knife's coming. I'm getting tired of Spydaco. I'm sorry. I, I mean, and I'm a huge Spydaco fan, over 300 knives. I hate the fact that you give me all these glossy pictures. You talk about how it is. I don't know when it's coming. And I understand they, they have their quality control and they have to deal with manufacturing and all that. I just hate it. <laughs> That's me. That's a me problem. Uh, same with Chris Reeve. I'm glad you have all these new knives and everything and you say I can order them from you. But if I order them from you, it's going to take a year to get. I want them out to the distributors. How, how about holding off until you get them done and putting them out in the distributors? But they're better marketers than I am, obviously. <laughs> So, so, um, but anyway, hey, they make great products. That's why I'm so anxious to get them. And thank goodness for Amazon with Prime. Thank goodness for FedEx and UPS. And thank goodness for YouTube. Because I could just watch YouTube videos over and over and over until I finally get my knives. And so that's partly why I do this every single day. That's partly why I'm going to get better at doing single videos on knives because I realize how much I didn't have enough videos on some of the knives that I buy because they're right out of the box. Um, so anyway, that's what I hope people will find this channel and use it for because, man, I would go crazy if I didn't have a chance to look at people unboxing and look at the knives and stuff that I get. Okay, that's my long and short of it. You guys keep your fingers crossed that my mailing doesn't get screwed up. <laughs> yes, you would think they would know me, but my uh, building is a, a city block long. It's a lot of uh, people, so I'll get down and remind them. Anyway, let's talk about this carry. Let's get to it because I love it. Yeah, I thought we'd go since everything's titanium. <laughs> My eye watch, my Apple watch is not titanium, but I was just in that kind of a mood. So I'm carrying my Apple watch. Also, as I told you, I have an all day meeting that starts early. So this will help. No, you can see the time. <laughs> this will help us, uh, help me keep track on what's going on in the office and stuff with my Apple watch. I love the Apple watch. So much easier than pulling out your phone. <sighs> It's just going to be a special day. So I got a special cigar. I really love it. It's Hoyo de Monaco uh, Epic 2. 
you know what? I You're going to see me move things out of the frame because I didn't write these down because I need to get them done early <laughs> and up before I leave for the day or I'm going to be off of things. So I didn't, usually I do quickie little notes because I'm an old man. I forget everything. Plus my eyesight through this iPhone isn't that good. So if you see me do that, that's the behind the scenes part of it. What a wonderful cigar. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, uh, it's funny. The meeting's taking place close to my house. So on longer breaks, I could probably even sneak over to the house. I won't, though. Um, oh, yeah. Scotch of the blended kind in the flask today. I said I'm going all titanium, so I picked my titanium shown design pin the coin today where's my shade wait let me pick it up to see what the date is see that's the little things that i forget <laughs> the coin today 2004 yeah i i make a billion mistakes every single video and I still have notes scratched down because I don't sit and write a dictionary. I do these quick notes <laughs> and I still make mistakes, right? Um, this is the 2004 uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese year of the monkey coin. That's going to be my good luck coin at this meeting. Good luck. You know what I'm hoping for for good luck? That I don't fall asleep. <laughs> or if I fall asleep, I don't snore. <laughs> or if I fall asleep, no one sees me falling asleep. Then does that mean you really were asleep? <laughs> it's like if a tree falls in the forest, right? Um, the <laughs> yeah. You know, I've realized I tell you guys, yeah, I'm batty because I'm doing this late night. Then I go, I'm batty because I'm doing it early in the morning. I'm batty in the midday. You know what? I'm finally come to the conclusion that my ex-wife was right. I'm just batty. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, my thin wallet, my Mont Blanc thin wallet, one of them. And I'm taking my Smithson leather notepad. Hey, it's meeting. Image matters sometimes. A lot of times it doesn't, but sometimes eh, it helps you pay for the knives. <laughs> now let's talk about these knives. I just thought given in some ways the I think what popped into my mind as I opened up these two knives is just the futuristic feel of them. And no, it's not the Jetsons. Uh, <laughs> But I just felt that way about both of them. And I happen to buy both of these from the same um, place, knifeart.com. I like them. You know, I don't know them, but I bought a lot of stuff from them, and uh, I like them. Um, good service. Um, let's see, knifeart.com. And it wasn't to match them or anything. It's just I was just getting so frustrated not having a new Spydeco. And I know I had just bought the Sage 5, but I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Uh, and I had the money set aside. So I said, screw you. <laughs> There's a number of other knives I've had my eyes on, and these are two of them. Um, and they're Thai. And they all feel and look a little um, uh, futuristic, and they're all kind of light. So at first I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to carry both of them. Oh, it's going to be a nice kind of smaller carry. And so I had to get <laughs> my titanium, I think, really futuristic keychain knife from Serge Bachanko. I just love this knife. It's the claw coin knife uh, from Serge. It's a mid-tech from him. He has done customs. I missed out. You know, he announces them on Instagram, and I thought I caught it early. I emailed him. I waited till the next day. It was late at night, and he said, hey, hey, Kevin, sorry. Uh, those are all sold out. I'll make some more. And I was like, ah, because I want more variety of these so I can carry them more often. Um, but this is the mid-tech, 
and it's just nice. As you can see, it is coin size. I don't know. I've never done this. Okay. A little small. Yeah, about the size of my one ounce coin. Um, you can wear it as a, meta a medallion and a, a, a neck knife. It has just enough play. It is a slip joint knife. So you hear it click, but it is a slip joint knife, so you have to be careful. I like it because of the design right here. I just can hold it. It can do some really decent tasks, but it's just really nice. I just, I love everything about this. This is the keychain knife. This is the thing that no one actually knows it's a knife when I have it on my keychain, but they always, if I throw it on my desk, my key's on my desk, or somewhere they always pick this up always and uh ask what oh this is interesting what is it? then i show them a knife they go, oh that's great it's handy this is my serge bachenko claw coin and here are the new knives both of these came last night i did a separate video of this oh i slurped like crazy and by the way, all of those first impression videos, I just put this up last night. Uh, so go check it out. It's right here on at Keith Kevin Ken. Uh, this right here is the Hinderer Half Track. And man, I love this thing. I've played with it so much, it's not even crazy. First of all, let me tell you, I did that video 10 minutes after I took that out of the pack, this out of the package and flipped it a couple of times because I wanted to get it in as soon as I could. And so this just came in. I just picked it up at 8.30 p.m. last night. Look at this. Yeah. Basically, out of the box, this smooth. And talk about flipping. I'll talk about the knife, but the hinders have been blasted for years about how it flips. I'm right-handed, even my right hand, because it's old and fat. <laughs> it's tough sometimes to flip things. That's my left-handed flip. This thing flips like a dream. And as I said, smooth, lined up perfect, man. The great thing about this hinderer, I, I, I have several hinderers. They come in a nice little box, but you know, they're thrown in a baggie. And sometimes I don't like that. I know Jim Skelton talks about him. I mean, he's got $2,000 knives and people do that. And I understand from the knife maker, you know, some people do really fancy stuff. I love the Chris Reeve knives. They all come with a cleaning cloth, some oil, some other things, sometimes a tool, a, a, a certificate handwritten telling you all about your knife, oh, A++++++. You know, this costs more than, well, not more than that Chris Reeve knife, but more than, this is about the same cost as most Chris Reeve knives. And, uh, but it does come with something nice, and that's a handwritten card uh, with the name of the person who did the last inspection, who took care of my knife before packing it away, and I like that. And uh, man, he did a great job. It's very sharp, very smooth, flips like a dream. So let's talk about the half track. This is one of his new designs. Um, Rick Hinderer talked about this, I believe, SHOT Show 2016. And uh, by the way, today is, <laughs> isn't that amazing? That's what happens when I don't... It's Wednesday, September 14th, Wednesday, September 14th, 2016. I give you the date all the time. I do that so that you guys know that we do the pocket dump deconstruction every single day. Even though you may not watch it every single day, there's a lot of videos. And I've saved them all in a long playlist called EDCs. And there's also other playlists as well. But we're over. We're we're. I didn't look at it in a couple of days, but we're about 220 of these pocket dump deconstructions with a bunch of knives. So if you love knives and you love caressing knives, you're gonna like this channel. If you like what you're watching now, go check out the playlist. So this is the Rick Hinderer half track. 
<laughs> this half track, yes, I have to play with it. Yes, there's a lot of knives from Spydeco, a lot of knives from uh, Chris Reeves and others that will be coming out uh, that I'll have to compare it to. But right now, this thing is on my top 10 list. You know, I lean towards smaller knives. A three inch knife for me is heaven. Some of the sub three inch knives are perfection, <laughs> okay, for me. Um, but once you get around three inches, I love. This right here, 2.75 inch blade. S35VN steel, Rick Hinder rocks like Chris Reed with S35VN steel. <laughs> yeah, it's that short. But look how thick and stocky it is. I love the see-through construction. It makes it light. It really does. I think the size and the fact that it has see-through construction is great. I guess I'm not a lanyard guy. I, you know, the only lanyards I have is from Chris Reeve because he includes lanyards on his knives. Bingo, that's another packaging thing. Lanyard always comes on knives. <laughs> Uh, he packages great. Uh, I guess you could definitely put uh, lanyards on these. The knife does not hit it, will not hit your lanyard if you did that. I said, you know, I said futuristic. You guys are probably going, what's so futuristic about it? I just, titanium with this uh, nice like grid effect that gives you a little bit more to grab onto but also just looks purdy. It really does. It really looks purdy. Has some jimping, uh, does not kill your thumb, kind of a smooth jimping. For me, with a knife this size, that's cool. You're not chopping down a tree. I know there are um, jimping fanatics, God bless them. You guys know I'm a forward choil fanatic, so <laughs> everyone's a fanatic. This is only only tip up carry right hand tip up carry because they have so much going on on the handle and it's small now usually hinderers one thing they do is give you all these different places at least tip up tip down right hand and then you can replace you know then they have a plate that replaces the other one and you can change that out this one doesn't because it's small but man is it so well built Man, I'll tell you, the hinderers got that flipping down pat, okay? <laughs> they do. The last couple of hinders I bought, I'm impressed with the flipping because I wasn't impressed earlier. This is really wonderful. Um, this is, again, the hinderer half track, brand new from me. Uh, I'll tell you, let's do this now. Give you some some uh, looks you know the first thing i went to is my techno because i love my little knives right so this is kind of the thickness of a techno obviously a bigger blade i mean the techno is 2.55 inches of C uh, cts xhp steel so it's a it's smaller a little wider but Man, as far as the blade's concerned, you can see the stock's a little wider. But I really, it, it, it gives me that feel. If you have a techno, you know what I mean, that, hey, I'm sturdy kind of feel. I'll tell you, the knife that actually also has a 2.75 blade is the Manundi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there is nothing that makes this. Now, the handle's bigger longer the handle is definitely fatter because that's not what a manundi is right but the monday but the manundi has again 2.75 inch blade s35 vn steel this is a <laughs> proper gentleman's folder of course from chris reeve this right here is a chunky do everything techno with the blade size, which of course is fatter, wider, thicker, all of those things. But this is what 2.75 inch blades look like. And I know when I give you the inches, 
and maybe I'm the only one, it drives me crazy. Yes, there are every other channel is more technical than me. They give me widths, they give me, I don't know that stuff offhand. Give me a, a comparison. So that's kind of the comparison when you talk about the size of this. Oh, I'm going long, I gotta get out of here because I have to slurp on this too. You guys know I've been talking about getting another tie lock. There are three tie locks now from Chris Reeve. It all started with this tie lock, the original tie lock design. That's Chris Reeve working with Grant and Gavin Hawk. They wanted to take the locking, the lock out of the inside of the knife and put it on the blade and they succeeded. This is the locking, this is the tie lock right here. So you open it, some people use this to open it. I, I just pinch and open, it's so easy, so much easier and more fluid. But this is how the lock works. I just carried this a couple of days ago. Um, this is how the, the lock works. You pull it out from the spring and you see the two right there, they go boop right into there, right there. Nice lock, purdy. It makes it light too. It's all on the blade. It's out of the center and it's Chris Reeve design. No, it's Gavin and Grant Hawk design for the lock. Very creative folks, Google them, very creative. Chris Reeve production. Okay, it's a Chris Reeve knife. <laughs> you know, it's a beautifully made knife and really light. That's the original. Three years ago, uh, last year, they came out with the second knife. I don't have that, that one. I'll get that at some point as well. And then this one is the current one this year. So they've done it three years in a row. I don't know how long they're gonna do it, so I wanna get that series. And man, I like this knife even better than that one. I was concerned when I saw it that because it doesn't have all the cutouts that it would be heavier with this titanium. It's all titanium, but it isn't. They really did a great job of keeping this light even without the holes taken out of it. Pure tie, it's not it's not skeletonized or anything. Yeah, that uh, ball right there, there's a name for it. Google it. <laughs> I definitely will never be able to pronounce it and even spelling it would take a minute. But what the design is, it's called the Tidelock Elemental. It's a nod to science. And so this represents you know, like the atom structure. And uh, it resembles the atom structure, the graphic. You can feel the graphic, it gives you a little bit more grip as well. But I love these because they're light, they're all titanium. And is that a nice, funky design? I also like that what they do, by the way, this is a 3.2 inch, 3.2 inch S35 VN steel blade. That's the tie lock. Um, it's, it's, and of course it's Chris Reeves, so of course it's coming with your lanyard. <laughs> good guy, man, that's a good guy. I love these knives. I wasn't that sure. This was one of the last things I bought from Chris Reeve, you know, uh, a while ago. I bought it three years ago, but I was holding off for the tie lock. Where I got it, I love it, because it's light and easy. It's a little bit smaller than the Sabenza 22 uh, or 25. Again, 3.25 inches as opposed to, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, 3.25 inches as opposed to 3.6 inches from a Chris Reeve uh, Sabenza or Sabenza 25. Look at it. What I love that they he does with this clip, and this is a very nice functional clip, is he stops the pattern. Now here, there was no pattern except for the open. But in this case, there was a pattern that he could have carried over to the back, but he makes it smooth under the clip. My pants thanks you. My pocket thanks you. Even though, <laughs> 
Actually, a lot of times I do pick when I carry this for this to be the clip and the other knife to go into a Chris Reeve um, sheath. But in this case, this will go into the sheath because that's just too fat. Oh, I love it. Again, the tie lock. This is the third in the series of three so far. The trilogy of the Chris Reeve tie lock. That's the original. And I just got yesterday night the third one in the trilogy. And this is the Chris Reeve Elemental. This is my big carry. We've got the uh, half track as a medium carry and then Serge's coin claw as a keychain knife. And I'd be lying to you if I told you there was a knife that got away. <laughs> I opened these two boxes. I flipped this one, opened this one up. Light. Oh, this is going to be the carry. <laughs> Again, I have a full video first uh, on the half track, on the hinderer half track. I'm going to make one once I get, if I ever get back from this meeting, on the elemental. So that'll hit on this channel as well. You can always pick up the pocket dump deconstructions and you can always get these special videos whether it's new knives or me doing sub collections of my bigger collections if you hit that subscribe button hit the subscribe button okay youtube will tell you when i post things also we're working our way <laughs> to a thousand subscribers once we get to a thousand subscribers i'm going to go through my 300 plus spidecos all of them and uh <laughs> I'm adding them every time <laughs> as we go on, as we wait. So hit that subscribe button, please. You guys have been great on the thumbs up. Please continue on the thumbs up. I mean, because you guys do that for me and I know how much it feels for me, I've been doing it on all the YouTubers I watch now. Before I used to watch, enjoy, and just pass on, I know how much it means to them, so I do it. It really means a lot. It keeps these dailies going even when I'm running off to a meeting early. Okay, I really appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for your, all your time. I man, time is so precious and fleeting, folks. So go out and be happy. All right. Oh man, that sounds so Pollyannish, but I mean it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Keep your pockets full. Goodbye. <laughs>